Wow. Okay, so you guys are probably why I am in my horror section right now. It is because I watched Brightburn last night, and Brightburn is considered a horror movie, so I went ahead and just go, um, just wanted to film in my horror section because I'm going to tell you about it, but I'm not going to spoil the movie. That's not what this is. This isn't a spoiler review. This is just a movie review about what I thought of the movie. Um, Brightburn was directed by David Yarvusky. I think that's his name. If that's not his name, then I'll go ahead and I'll put it in the description below. And the movie stars David Dedman, Elizabeth Banks, Jackson A. Dunn, and a whole bunch of different actors I can't really name because I don't know them. And this movie is basically about that Jackson A. Dunn, who plays Brandon Breyer, is, um, he's the son, he's the adopted son of Kyle Brenner, not Brenner, sorry, T Kyle Breyer, played by David Denman, and he's the, he's, um, his mother is Elizabeth Banks' character, which her name is Tori Breyer. And this movie is basically about what happened if Superman was evil. Now, I own a movie that I really love. I like it a lot. I think it's really good. Not a lot of people like it. I like Henry Cavill as Superman. Not a lot of people really like this movie, and I don't know why, because I, I thought it was really fun. I loved it. I actually don't mind watching it every once in a while. That's Man of Steel. Imagine if Man of Steel was a horror movie. Can you imagine it? That's Brightburn. As a Brightburn is. Brightburn is about an adopted kid, like I already said, named Brandon Breyer, who goes to school and gets these like superpowers, and it's just he he starts killing he he starts killing people. He either snaps, starts killing people. No one knows. His parents don't know what the hell's going on at all with him. And this movie actually is really entertaining. It's so damn good. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I now I saw the trailer for this movie. And when I saw the trailer for this movie in the theater, I told my I told my parents, eh, I don't know, that doesn't look that good. But they were sold on it. They were like, yeah, that looks that looks like it'll be good. I I wanna see it. my dad that's what my dad was like. My mom's like, yeah, that'll probably be good. I wasn't really too sold on it though. It didn't look good to me. And then I watch it and Holy shit, this movie's more, this movie's better than I thought it was gonna be. It's graphic. It has great acting. The special effects are great. I mean, this, this movie is, is one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. I, I fucking loved it. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, but I really did. It was a really, really good movie. Great movie, great performances. I think my favorite performance out of this movie, though, was David Denman. I thought he gave a really believable performance as the father. And I really liked the guy that played um, Brandon Breyer, Jackson A. Dunn. I thought he did really good as well. Um, I really hope this. I really hope that's another one to this movie. Um, it was so so good. I loved it so much. Definitely gonna give this movie a B. I'm not gonna give it a a A. Because the movie could have been longer than it was. I thought the movie could have added like maybe like 30 more minutes to it. It could have been like a couple of hours. Because I wanted to, I wanted them to explain the backstory of um, where Brandon came from. But I like I said, no spoilers. But I'm not gonna tell you if they do or don't. I just I wanted it to be explained more than it was. Um, great movie. Like I said, it's getting to be. Um, so. If you guys like my videos, you know what to do is click on my channel to see more of my reviews. Please subscribe to my channel, share my video, like it. Um, I am going to do another review very soon here. I'm looking forward to seeing Uncut Gems. I might have a review of Rise, Rise of Skywalker. I don't know about that movie yet. I, do, I don't know if I want to see it. I will, I'm not really hyped for Star Wars that much, but I hope it's good, so I'll probably... We'll go ahead and review that, and, but I don't really want to give any spoilers away in that video, which I'll try not to if I do end up reviewing it. I will be reviewing a couple more movies before January, before January, before December ends. I really want to get reviews out for Black Christmas. I watched both of them um, a couple of days ago, and I really want to get a review out for Uncut Gems very soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my videos, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.